dark days, the hot, humid and sultry days of summer. The grassland in the temple is yellowed in a large area. It looked unpleasant. The little monk felt wasteful, and said to his master hastily, Master, Master, we could scatter some seeds. The master said calmly, Don't worry, we can plan it at any time. When the seeds had been sent to the temple, Master said to the little monk, Go to plant them. Many seeds have been scattered around. However, surprisingly, a gust of wind also blew some of the seeds away. The little monk said anxiously to Master, 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 a lot of seeds have been blown away. The Master said, It doesn't matter, those that are blown away is empty inside. We sprinkle, they also cannot germinate, just be relaxed and let it be. After the little monk having planted all the seeds, a few birds flew in and pecking the soil for food. Oh no, master, the seeds have been eaten by the bird. Master said, don't worry, there are a lot of seeds, we cannot finish eating too. Let the matters around happen naturally. In the middle of the night, there was a storm. The little monk came to the master's room and said to the master with a crying voice. It's all over, and the seeds have been washed away by the rain. Master replied, let it be. Washed to where, to where it sprouts. Just let it be naturally. Never be rigid in anything. Let it be. If it meant to be, it will be. A few days passed, the one spare ground grew a lot of new greens. Even those that were not sown by the little monk, there were small seedlings sprouted out too. The little monk said happily, Master, Master come and see, they all grow out. Master is still calm as before and replied, Let the nature handle itself and we too should be rejoicing with the joy of nature. We too should be calm in the chaotic of nature. There is a Buddhism saying, don't try to calm the storm. Calm yourself. The storm will pass. Everything happens for a reason in our life. No matter how it settles, we should do our very own best with an easy mind. Do not be frustrated and depressed ourselves as it does not help us at either way. And try to train your mind to see something good in everything. As such, storm of such pandemic or other chaos that is literally encompassing the entire world. It has been intimidating, chaotic, bewildering, and utterly life-faltering for all of us in one way or another. By calming yourself and tending to yourself kindly, you will be better able to provide calm for others. By creating and cultivating a more serene mind space and practicing soothing actions, you are helping the peace of mind to the collective. By doing good deeds and karma for the sake of others. By nurturing compassion, and love for the life of other creatures on earth to avoid killing. This storm will pass. They always do. And yes, another storm will not doubt arise, but you can weather that one too. It will be easier if you begin to cultivate and nourish your calm now and use your calmness to help bolster others. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more motivational story.